Tonight, State Representative Mike Lynch resigned from his position as House Minority Leader today, one week after his 2022 arrest for suspected drunk driving became public. As Denver 7's Brandon Richard reports, Lynch said his actions had become a distraction to fellow Republican lawmakers, creating a divide within his own party. Well, for the past week, ever since this controversy started, Leader Lynch has been defending himself and he has said, of course, that he had no intention of stepping down. He was fighting for his position, but this morning things changed. Members, I come before you today at this moment of personal privilege to let you know that I will be stepping down as the minority leader uh, as of close of business today. Mike Lynch announced his decision to step down as Republican House leader exactly one week after it was revealed he'd been arrested for suspected drunk driving in 2022. Don't make the mistake that I made, which was to get behind the wheel after I had had too much to drink. Lynch, who's also running for Congress, kept his arrest from the public for a year and a half. Even members of his own caucus didn't know about it. It's not like I have some kind of inside track to this information. Apparently nobody did. State Representative Scott Bottoms pushed for a no confidence vote against Lynch this week. I had wanted him to resign from the very beginning. I thought resigning was going to be the best way to handle this rather than in the circus that we've had the last few days. Lynch survived the vote, but the pressure to resign kept building. On the floor, he took a shot at Dave Williams, the chairman of the Colorado Republican Party. I'm not stepping down because a failed state party chair decided to try to influence the actions in this house. Williams didn't respond to a request for comment, but the party responded to Lynch's resignation on social media, saying it's about time. The House Republicans should elect anyone who has not been convicted of driving while drunk and broke faith with voters and colleagues by covering it up. I don't think the Colorado GOP chair should be in the House chamber or in a House committee meddling and in getting into House Republican caucus business. State Representative Richard Holtorf says the past week has been one of the most difficult times for Lynch. He made a mistake in his life. Um, he is owning that mistake. House Republicans must now choose a new leader, which they're expected to do on Thursday. Brandon Richard, Denver 7.